Bill Walsh, Super Bowl winning coach, once said, the culture precedes positive results. It doesn't get tacked on as an afterthought on your way to the victory stand. Champions behave like champions before they're champions. They have a winning standard of performance before they are winners. In 2010, Minnesota softball coach Jessica Allister took over as the head coach of the Golden Gophers. That year, they went 13-37 and and just 2-17 and in conference play. In 2017, the Minnesota Gophers win the Big Ten title for the first time since 1991. They are the first team in program history to win 50 games. Coach Allister, along with assistants Jessica Merchant and former Gopher Piper Ritter, have built a winning culture in Minnesota, and now we find out how and why. Um, so my relationship with Coach Alistair started um, when we played on the Riptide together. I believe it was the summer of 2005. Um, I was drafted out of college and she had already been on the team for a season. I wasn't there very often because I was on the national team, but we got to know each other pretty well and then we just kind of stayed in touch. Um, that's how it started and she called me and asked if I wanted to come to Minnesota and I was reluctant at first um, because I didn't know anything about Minnesota. I thought they just hunted and went fishing. and. But it's a great city, it's, a, um, you know, I've, it's been an absolute dream to be here with her and help build this. Um, well, I came from New Mexico, I was recruited up here and I pitched from 01 to 04. Um, and during that time, um, we went to regionals twice and so we were a pretty good team and we had hitting and pitching and um, I loved it up here. I, um, obviously I moved up here and live up here now and now I coach here, but um, coaching here at the university is you know, the university you play for is great. And so when this opportunity came about, came about I thought, um, tried out, and I was looking to go back to school as well. So I enrolled and I was going to get my master's, and then, um, yeah, one thing led to another, and here I still am, 11 years later, so. I'm a big city person, um, and there's not all that many places throughout the country where you can live in a big city and um, compete for national championships. You know, it's a small subset of schools that have those resources in great metro areas. Um, the University of Minnesota is one of them. So I think that's what was initially um, appealing about the job. Um, after that, you know, you start to look at the success of the women's pr um, program across the board, and not to compare the women to the men, but being a women's sport, um, you know, that's, that's kind of what you look at. And it's a testament to the administration's commitment to women's athletics. You know, it's not uh, men's basketball and football and everyone else. You know, it's go for athletics, and they want to make sure that every um, athlete that joins us here at the U has the opportunity to be as successful as they can be. We got called into a room, and Jessica Allister introduced herself as our head coach. Um, and right away, she demanded respect from the program. She demanded that we trust her. Um, it was, I think it was easy for my class to trust the process just because we were freshmen and we didn't know any better. Um, but she had a vision and we just believed her and we trusted her and I think that the results really panned out. And I think when Alistair came in, she demanded respect right away, which is something um, admirable about her. She was, I'm 28 right now, and she was, so she was my age when she got the head job, she was young, but she didn't let that stop her, and coming to Minnesota um, was obviously a gamble for her in her career, and I'm 100% grateful and thankful that she came. Um, but I think that when she demanded respect and came in and set that tone or that culture that everyone's talking about now, that winning culture was just encompassing everything that she is and Jessica Merchant and Piper Ritter are as people, and that they, as a coaching staff, give everything they have every day and they expect nothing less of us girls. It's funny, we put it on the door um, the first day we got here as a staff and it hasn't come down since and I think it's been um, kind of a driving influence is limits yourself and post. Uh, I firmly believe that you can do anything in life that you want to do. Um, you just have to do it and you got to make the choices along the way uh, and you can't give up. You can't um, think that it's going to happen in a certain time frame and give up if it takes a little bit longer. Um, so I'm a huge believer in that. You know, I think the other piece is um, we like to have fun, but my version of fun is working as hard as you possibly can to see just how good you can get. So the fun is in the process. Um, it's not something that we um, try to find ways to bring into it. You know, the fun is within the work. Um, I think what Coach Allister kind of says, and she says it from the beginning, I think um, you have four years to work as hard as you can to get as good as you can be. 
and I think that shows it as in our practices. We, um, we, we are practice planning and um, everything through the practice planning to what we do at practice to even our games. We work as hard as we can um, in every minute that we can that we can work with the girls and you know every minute on on the field we work to get better. Whether it's BP before before games, whether it's some bullpens before the games, um, it's just working to get better. It's really special because we've been here throughout the whole process, you know, of getting that first class to really buy into Coach Alistair's vision to to what we have this year, um, which has been an outstanding season. So it's been really special to be a part of the whole entire process. Uh, I think a lot of times you get to a job and either you're the assistant and they already are successful or um, it's a rebuilding but you don't stay the whole time. And to be able to be here with Coach Alistair and Coach Ritter the whole time and see the progress and be part of the whole entire journey has been absolutely unbelievable. I think from when we got here to now, we've really bought into the blue collar work ethic. You know, the kids show up and they work as hard as they can every single day. And, you know, we don't necessarily always have the number one recruit in the country, but we have kids who believe in what we're doing and believe in our process and our culture. And, you know, they come and they're excited to be a part of it and they're excited to do whatever it takes to help them become better and help the team become better. There's three things that we think are necessary um, for us to be a successful program. The first one is that you have to leave the University of Minnesota with a degree. Um, so softball is awesome and I'm as competitive as they come. But uh, when your time is over, you have to be ready to go and do whatever it is that you want to do in the real world. So you got to graduate. Um, the second one is you have to be a better softball player when you leave here than you were when, we got, when you got here. If not, we're not doing our jobs. Um, so I'm a firm believer that if we recruit the right student athletes and they get better within our program, that winning is going to take care of itself. Um, and the last piece is that uh, when you graduate, you have to be proud to be a gopher. Um, college softball was the best four years of my life. Um, and I want to make sure that my players have that same experience. Coach Alistair believes we can become who we want to become if we work at it. It appears that the players are buying into that as well. Gophers open up a 7-0 lead in the second. What a hit for Kendall Lindemann. There was no doubt about it when that went off her bat.